Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I started off this project with four hexagon shadow boxes I got from Michaels. They were 99 cents. I started by removing the metal hangers using a small screwdriver. I then took off the twine hangers off three of them and left one as the hanger for a permanent sign. Next, I figured out how I wanted my pieces to fit as we're gonna make a honeycomb. And I used Elmer's wood glue to glue them together. Once my glue was in place and all my corners were touching, I used some clamps that I borrowed from my husband. You can find these clamps at Home Depot or Lowe's. I secured each side and let it sit overnight to dry. remove any rough edges of glue and the stuck paper from the back of my sign, I used a sanding sponge I got from the Dollar Tree and gave it a quick sand. To give a little extra support, I cut some craft sticks into pieces and hot glued them to the back of my sign. This is totally optional, but since I live in a humid climate, I figured it might be good for a sign that may be outside. I used Anita's acrylic paint in the color mustard for the entire sign. Then for highlights, I used Craft Smart Champagne Gold and Anita's acrylic paint in the color hay. This gives each of the honeycomb dimension. You start off by painting the entire thing with the mustard, then while it's still wet, add the hay color and the champagne gold to give it texture and dimension. It's a little hard to see on the video, but the champagne gold does give it a beautiful shimmer, and the hay color just kind of gives a little more dimension. I painted the back of the sign using the mustard color and only gave it one coat. Once the back of my sign was dry, I used Waverly Antique Wax to distress the entire honeycomb. The metal welcome sign I got in a pack of three words from the Dollar Tree around Easter. This B came from a garland pack from Joanne Fabrics. I used folk art chalk paint in the color rich black to paint the welcome sign. I let it dry in between coats. This required two coats to cover the full thing. I also used it for the antenna on the bee, 
the inner portion of the wings and the lower portion of the stinger. For the head and body, I used the hay color yellow paint. With the yellow paint still wet, I went in and did a dry brush method using the same black paint to make it look like hairs on the bee's head and body. For the outlining of the wings, I used Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. With the plaster color paint still wet, I used the Waverly Antique Wax and did a dry brush method over the white paint and some of the body. Once all the paint was dry, I took the welcome sign and the bee, figured out where I wanted them placed on my honeycomb, and used a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue to attach them to the honeycomb. I made the shabby bow using bee inspired ribbon that I got from Michaels. Cut the edges, tied the center with jute twine. Once that was done, I simply hot glued it to the top of my honeycomb. I had so much fun making this project. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please share and like this video and follow my page at Jenny of All Trades. Have a great day, stay crafty, and we'll see you soon. Bye!